This video is the third part of a series on how to use the multimeter. In this portion, I'm going to explain how to use the ammeter or how to measure current with the multimeter. And that's done by selecting one of these two settings here. We're going to be measuring direct current. So I'll move that to this position. And then I'll be moving the red lead over to the 10 amp position here to do that. Now before we start, I want to show you something. These connections that we use to measure current are fused in case we connect the meter to something that has too much current and it will blow the fuse. Now often the meters have a blown fuse and the way to test and see if that fuse is blown or not is to go to your ohms or to your continuity setting. This is a continuity setting where it'll beep when I touch, touch the other lead. And I come over here and just place the red lead inside of here and it should beep if that fuse is good. So that 10 amp fuse is good. And that 300 milliamp fuse is not. That one's blown. So that's a good way to, to find out if your fuse is blown or not. And that would explain why you're not getting the right reading if you're, if you're not. So back to the amp setting here. We'll move this lead over to the 10 amp setting. And by the way, when these fuses are blown, this fuse is blown and it doesn't affect the operation of any other part of this meter. Just just that one setting. And now at this point, if I were to come directly to the battery and touch those two terminals, it would blow the fuse because that would be more than 10 amps that I would be sending through the meter. So I'll be careful not to do that. And I'm always careful when I'm done here to move that lead right back over to that position so I don't blow my fuse on accident. Now we're going to set up a, a circuit here. So I'll place the leads on the battery. And I'm going to place one lead on this side of the light bulb and one on this. Causes the light bulb to light up. Now, in order to measure current, we have to place the meter in series with the circuit in a way that it will cause all the current to flow through the meter. And so that the meter can actually count the electrons that are flowing. So the only way to do that, stay on there. The only way to do that is to break the circuit at some point. So I need to disconnect one of these leads, bring my meter over here and I can connect that to that and this lead to the battery. When I connect this, it should light the light bulb again. You see that it does. Now what I'm doing is I'm forcing any current that's flowing to this light bulb, I'm forcing it to go through the multimeter first, if that makes sense. So as I connect this, tells me that I have 2.02 .02 amps DC. And that's my current measurement. So the only thing you have to be careful of is that you, you move your lead over here to this position, and then that you disconnect the circuit and place this, the leads in series with the circuit so that all of the current has to flow through the multimeter and back out the other lead to the circuit, and it will give you a proper measurement. Again, make sure as soon as you're finished to move this back over here to prevent blowing your fuse on accident the next time you turn your meter on. That's how you measure current.